anyways, I hope you guys had an amazing New Year celebration. Finally, 2020 is over. We can give yourselves a round of applause if you made it. You're mm-hmm. dumb to celebrate. You're supposed to say Jumanji so we can get I did, Whoever game. said that, whoever, you're the reason why we have to do this again. <laughs> Don't go build a life without me, cause you're mine still. And this is the Black Nipson Podcast. Woo! Don't ever do that again. <laughs> um, happy holidays and happy new year. I hope happy you guys... Happy Hanukkah. I said, I said happy holidays. I know, I just wanted the extra, damn. Um, anyways, I hope you guys had an amazing new year celebration. Finally, 2020 is over. We can give yourselves a round of applause if you made it. You're mm-hmm. dumb to celebrate. You're supposed to say Jumanji so we can get I, Whoever game. said that, whoever, you're the reason why we have to do this again. <laughs> No one in my family, no one in my house said it. We were pu- just popping bottles and celebrating. Oh, bro, I Imagine see. if we were like at a real party and like two people in the back, Jumanji! <laughs> <laughs> bro, you're getting kicked out. You're getting booted. And you're not getting a refund on your Okay, money. but like, look at the year we had, though. Exactly. It just makes sense. We need to get out of the game. What if, what what if, they, what if, this what if they say 2021 round two? They They're not done. It. They didn't say it. I feel like that's what's gonna happen. Well, I survived 2020, so I'm not survived 2020. Yeah, but we just want to give a quick moment of silence for the people who didn't survive. You know, like I think over 300,000 people died. I think that's in like the U.S. alone. Oh, from I think COVID. it's like over a million. Oh, over a million now in the yeah, U.S. I'm talking about like in the world. Oh yeah, in the world it's like over a million. But yeah, let's give a moment of silence to them. All celebrities that didn't make it, you know, Kobe, Pop Smoke, King Kong, who? Chadwick. Oh, I was going to say that. Mm, God, Wakanda forever. Um, Also, Alex Trebek, you know, Jeopardy. I I watched it, but, you know, I was just a fan of him, Mm. you know. Debo from Friday, um, Natalie Reed from Medea's Big Happy Family. Oh, (laughs) Naya River. Night, Rivera, Rivera yeah. sorry, from Glee, bro. Yeah. Her death was so sad, and I and I know for a fact it was Leah Mitchell that killed her. How did she die? Drowning? Yeah. That's why I don't stay in water. Cause you know the girl from Glee, right? No. Rachel, the the bit. Oh, haven't you watched Glee before? No. Oh my gosh. But never mind. We can't even get to. I that. mean, my sister watched it. I will just glance, but it looked. Okay, boring. okay, okay. The bitch, besides Santana. Yeah, I don't know these names, but the yeah. white, the white, the white girl. girl with like that's annoying. Yeah, her. Okay. She plays like the fact that her character is how she actually acts in real life is horrible, and yeah. that's why literally everybody came at her on Twitter. I'm so glad Damn. she got what she deserved. She's a fucking bitch. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna add her in the comments so she can see this. <laughs> I hope she sees it because I know you killed her. Oh we know. God. We know she killed her. But anyways, we just wanna, you know warn those that didn't make it to see 2021 you know hopefully this year isn't too bad we can go back to school stop social distancing and go back to whatever we were doing before which like- was social distancing like i feel like with without covid like let's say it was like normal mm-hmm. i feel like people wouldn't want to go out oh yeah still true. i'll still want to be in my room I'll still, like, not talk to nobody. Like, I'll link here and there, but, like, it wouldn't be, like, this big thing, like, oh, my God, I want to go out. Oh, my God, what's the what's the word? What's the word? I just you feel know? like it's the fact that we can't do it is what making people want to do it. Exactly. Anymore. You tell someone not to do something, they're going to do it. They should have done a reverse psychology on the whole marriage. Exactly. Be like, everyone go out now. Yeah. Like, I don't want to go COVID. out and listen to you. I will listen to you. Like, let's say, bro, all the Republicans, if they told us not to put the mask on, they want to put the mask on. We wouldn't be here right now. We wouldn't have still... We would have been in, like... Because I feel like with COVID, time... Time just went by mad fast. Yeah. I feel like this right now... We wouldn't have been in October. Like, right now, without COVID, we would have been in October. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because it was just, like, always slow during the fall. But then it was just mad fast this exactly. year. I didn't even get to enjoy the fall. The fall's, like, the we, best season. There, yeah, it is. There's no debate on that, but... Yes. 
don't even want to get into it, bro. I know, and COVID just transported everything. Like, we got people out here, like, dyeing their hair. <laughs> <laughs> we got people dyeing their hair, doing random stuff, getting piercings all over the body. Just trying I to change their whole appearance. I, I might go on. Where? The one that's right here. Ew! No, it's actually cute. The one that I want to get a nose piercing right here. This one? I don't care. I don't want to see. I don't know. Probably this one. You only get a one, right? I don't know. Because people get like two on the same. Oh no, I'm not doing that. Yeah, but actually, I want to get the industrial. I haven't seen that one before. The one on the. Can you explain it? Like, like Jesus I Christ. can't. Okay, like the one that's right here oh, that yeah. connects like that. With the the like, long this? pole. Like oh, the, oh the yeah, pole yeah, 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 that. You want to get that one? Yeah, but the thing is, I don't want to clean up all the things, so I might get an infection. So you I don't want to sanitize? I'm just too lazy, so that's why I don't want to get piercings. I'm gonna get the fake ones. Yeah, and not only like the people that we, it's not only we lost people, we also lost a bunch of animals. And we're losing animals as we speak right now. Mm. Um, you know, in the beginning, um, Australia, Australia, like Australia. Uh, Australia dealt with a big fire that, like, burnt over 18.6 million acres of land, killing over 1 billion animals. And, like, that's not even probably the exact amount. Yeah, but, like, like, an estimate. One bi- imagine 1 billion animals. They're you know? innocent lives. Well, how did it even start, though? I don't even know, like... Cause I know, I, like the reason why the California started because of a baby shower. Yeah, that that yeah. is so stupid. But the thing is, that's not the first time it happened of a baby shower doing that. Right, just California. Yo, California. Is a different you guys are always. You guys are always on fire. I don't care anymore. You guys just you guys need to like wet it up. Like <laughs> Jesus Christ, like it's so dry over there. Oh yeah, just be like Florida and just have a, just a whole flood. You know, that's just so much better. Exactly. But like we don't we don't mess with Florida right now. You know, you guys is that even part of America anymore? You guys are a red state. You get back, but Florida <laughs> is its own country right now. But they're 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 different breeds. But anyways, uh, twenty twenty felt like I feel like twenty twenty had its ups and downs. Ups, it, ups, it's ups. <laughs> Yes. Just the downs, because there was no ups in 2020. I know, but like 2020, you know, it was, it was, it was hard. It was, it was challenging. It tested all of us. And I feel like a lot of people want to, you know, glamorize all the bad stuff that happened and always want to like, they're like, ah, oh, bro, 2020 sucks. I hate it. I hate it. Oh my God. But like, you got to think about it. Like, especially you got to keep it positive. Mm-hmm. I feel like you got to have like that. You have to be optimistic. Like, okay, 2020 was bad, but at least you made it through. Mm-hmm. Even with everything that happened, especially, like, if you are you were black and you know exactly what happened, these two innocent people, not even two, it was, like, many, many innocent black people lost their lives and you still made it, and you're complaining, and be lo- millions of people lost their lives, well, not millions, but a million people lost their lives to COVID, and you got, maybe some of y'all got COVID, but y'all didn't die, mm-hmm. you know? You're like, I got COVID, oh, oh my God, bro. Oh my god, oh my god, I hate 2020, I hate it, oh my god, I just want to go out, I want to go out, like, Bro. It's people like that just piss me off, because, like, there are people that, like, can't leave the house because, like, they're family members, or, like, a lot of them are high risk, because they, if they yeah, get COVID, uh, it's, it's over. Illnesses. Can you speak? <laughs> Jesus. Il- illnesses? Underlying illnesses, medical yes, conditions. That 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 if they get COVID, it's it's over, and there's people out here like still like they're not even complaining. They're just going out and partying. Oh yeah, like now that I think of it, like so my t- my sister she does those testing thingies, like the specimen and all that shit. So to test people who have COVID, right? Mm. And every time during the holidays, that shit skyrockets, and then y'all motherfuckers are still going outside. What is wrong with you people? It's a, it it's doesn't make any sense. They don't even take a hit. Like, your family members meet in the hospital and y'all still partying? What is wrong with you? Exactly. Oh. Like, if if you want us to, like, just go back to, like, being able to go out whenever we want, not have a curfew, not mm-hmm. go on lockdown, like, when you go out, make sure it's for, like, the correct reasons it's necessary. You put on a mask. You don't, like, crowd, like, 
twenty thousand people when, in one area. When you area like put no on mask. a mask, like put that shit over your nose, not exactly. under it. Exactly. Like, it's not so you're not getting choked alive. You can breathe. <laughs> Like it's the same people that like, oh it's yeah, like, choke me. But like these condition that requires me not to wear a mask, like bitch, shut the fuck up exactly. and wear that damn mask. It is the same people like, oh, choke me, but like they can't wear a mask. Like come <laughs> shut on, up. like just just do it. It's like it's the, same, watching. It's the watching. same thing. It's the same thing. But like yeah, like it's not it's not that hard. It's not that hard to walk outside. I mean yeah, you forget it sometimes. Blah blah blah. But there's like many like people are like giving them out for free. There's like stuff at the stores. You know, and like, don't don't complain. Like, speaking of that, like, we should just be like New Zealand. I don't know if you know this, but like, they they can take off their mask and walk in public because they actually follow the guidelines under like, except for like America who wants to be different always. Oh. And they be protesting for the wrong reasons. They're like, oh, I want to protest so I can get my hair cut. Do it yourself. Like, use this. Learn it. Like, like you get use a new this. skill. Like, and I I remember I saw a tweet like that said like. If you don't learn a new like hobby or learn a new skill in quarantine, you just wasted it because you had many opportunities to do something. Like you had like a whole eight months and you didn't learn shit, that sounds like a new problem. Exactly. But I feel like you didn't have to learn anything, but if you didn't give No, make it it's real- like you had to. Cause some of y'all motherfuckers don't even know how to cook or clean. And you are coming outside talking shit about people. Look at you. You don't know how to cook. You can't even fry eggs. It's not even, it doesn't even take a ten year old to do it. Exactly. It's not that hard. If you still can't boil water, don't speak to me. <laughs> don't look at it. Don't look in my direction. I'm sorry. There's like some people, especially like the. There's a lot of boys in our school. Like not even our school, just a bunch of teenage boys. that don't help themselves. Um, Get up and learn a skill yo, before you go to college. Because once you go, your mom's not gonna be there for you. Your mom's not gonna wake you up. Come on, come on, sweetie, wake up. And like calling their daughter from the other room. Get your up. <laughs> go clean up this kitchen. You're not gonna do that. They're not like once it's once you leave, it's it's over. Unless you hire somebody, but no one, no one's gonna like want to watch after you. Yeah, no cause like I've noticed, like from the stories my sister be telling me about the boys in college, y'all nasty. Y'all need to learn how to clean. Y'all, they don't even wash their ass. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. Y'all are dirty. And then, uh, and then, and it'd be funny how like they, it'd be like those boys that be making fun of people. Like in Africa, that doesn't know how to take a shower. When we even, even though, like stereotypically, we don't have water. Like, look at you. You can't, you can't even take a shower. You have you're water, dirty. and you're not taking advantage of it. Like, look at you. Oh, that's like privilege right there. Ugh, exactly. not nasty. Ugh. And even if, like, you know, a uh, quarantine's still not over. If you didn't learn a skill, go out and do it today. Mm-hmm. Go outside. Like, plant, plant a tree. Not maybe well, not, not a tree. Weather. Not maybe not a tree, but like, build something. Like, if you want to redo your room, do it. Don't be don't be shy. Like, if, if you want to... Oh my god, bro. Why are you so negative? I'm sorry, but like, if, that's a lot of money. People lost their jobs. I hope you know that. I know, exactly. But like, build some... There's people like, just start a business. Why do you know? Like, if you want to start a business, like, make no sure... Business. If you want to start a business, do it. But like, make sure your product is that like... lip gloss. No, make sure your product is gonna like impact people positively you know especially like and don't like bait people like especially if you're starting a business don't bait people like make it like a racial thing it's, like mm-hmm. support black businesses mm, but that's that's good though i know but like i like some of the black businesses are like they're doing too much like like there's a lot of black businesses i want to support and i do support and i'll buy a bunch of clothes off there because i think i have a shopping problem i think i might order more clothes but um, Girl. there's some black, like, not even black, just businesses out there that will, like, it was just, like, a normal hoodie, and they'll say, black power, and it'll be $80, or- And it has, or, it'd be, like, the ones with no designs, too. Exactly, and it'll so just simple. be a fist, a fist, in, like, the middle of a t-shirt, 45 Like, yeah, black, like, Black Lives Matter, but I'm not <laughs> spending no $50 <laughs> just to, like, prove it, you know? And, yeah, like, even if- you know, just do something with your life, you know? I know a lot of you guys can't go out or like, you don't have the resources. Like, you have a computer, start start making videos. Start well, making YouTube videos. Code. Cause you know, then people would be making mad money. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Search up online. If you, if, you got, if you got a computer, if you got access to YouTube, search something up and learn it. Like, actually, learn how to learn right with your left hand. I started, I'm not that bad. Like actually, like it's not that hard. It's just you're not used to it. 
like the first couple times you're gonna be like what is going on your hands gonna cramp but like you know just learn just these simple things in life it's gonna like make you unique from other people you know but yeah 2020 we're, we're here to say goodbye it's i know I mean, it's a show we said goodbye a long time ago, Genesis. We didn't say goodbye. I didn't say goodbye. I, I said, said goodbye, goodbye a couple days ago. It was like three days ago. I was really grateful that, you know, that we're alive. Yeah. yeah. Not that. I'm not grateful that I'm alive. What is wrong I'm kidding. With you? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm grateful that, you know, we're still pushing through. We're still, you know, we're still going. Um, 2021, I don't even know what has. Bro, don't, de- don't jinx this year. I'm not, so. I'm not gonna no, say not you. 2021 is gonna be our year. But, I feel like, I mean, I don't know. I've, I've just tried to, you know, persevere to make it the best that I can. You know, start making money. Um, yeah, she needs to get a job. You need to get like, a job. Cause you need to g- <laughs> Shut up! Like, Guys, don't worry. To. I'm coming, I'm coming. Um, just work at Wendy's. No. Um, Why not? I need no. to get some free food for me. N- no. Who likes Wendy's anymore? I said what I said. Yeah, I said Wendy's what I said. Wendy's is elite. I'm sorry. If you think it's... If you think McDonald's is better than Scrubs. Mc- what? McDonald's is nasty. Yo, we're not even gonna... This is the- for another conversation. <laughs> this is for Yo, another video. Don't get me started because I have so much evidence. Oh my god. We oh, don't care how it's made. We don't care how it's made. It tastes good. I wasn't even going to talk about that. Mm. I was going to talk about the 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 chicken sandwich wars and shit. I don't, in I don't, 2020. Eat, I don't eat the chicken I'm not talking about that. We're talking about the topic 2020. That happened in 2020. It did? Yeah. Oh, did wow. it happen in 2019? I think no. It was 2019. No. It was 2019. It was 2019. It was 2019. Was it? Yes. Okay, but I feel like it still kind of correlates with it. People were dying over that chicken sandwich. And it wasn't really that good. It was good. Chick fil A is better than Popeyes, by the way. Yeah, just that out there. Yeah, but like, wow. I, like, don't think about it. Like, freaking, we had, like, the election just oh. topped everything off in 2020. To well, be remember honest. how Gen Z bullied Donald Trump? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I heard. And they were trolling him. Bro, no, name another generation that did that. I'm, I'll wait. I'll wait. I mean, they didn't have Donald Trump before. Yeah, but they had, like, all his presidents. Yeah, but, like, they, but, like right? the thing is, is you have Donald Reagan? Under- Reagan. But, yeah, um, what, what was I gonna say? Freaking, the election just, if, the fact that it happened, like, the election was in 2020, the presidential, yeah, like, it, it just made it worse. Like, it, it could have been next split. year. It split the whole United States in half. Exactly. If, if you're a Trump supporter, you're a racist. If you're Biden, you're dumb. It was so crazy. Exactly. You know what's crazy? It's like when Trump won four years ago, everyone was like, we, he won, go back. And then when people are like, it's not over. It it ended. Like, it's he won. Biden won. Like, there's nothing you can really do about it. But the Trumpies got the flag of Trump 2024 out already. And you know, we've got a vote that time. So he's not even going to make it to the ballot. I'm sorry. No, no, he shouldn't it. run. I thought he said he's never gonna run again, but I feel like he still would because he's dumb. But he shouldn't though. He's still gonna lose. He shouldn't run. He's. I just wanted Bernie, and I feel like it's gonna be too late. Yeah, by that uh, time, it's it's wraps. Bro, bro, Bernie. Like Bernie, you, you've you been tried. alive. You did it. No, but I feel like if he were to run like twenty twenty four, he's most likely gonna win. Hopefully. hopefully. Nah. That's he like just, four years, bro. Like, nah, he's already too old. Yeah. Tell him to, like, sit back and relax. I don't think you have to be a president to, like, make change. But, yeah, he's been making change. He's been fighting for us since his 20s. Like, y'all seen the pictures. Yeah. Biden, where were you? Um, I don't, I don't know. Okay. And Biden is older than um, Trump. Trump, yeah, I know. Yeah, Bernie's young. Younger, but he just looks older. That's just the only reason. Yeah. But Trump, Trump looks like I feel like no, he's not gonna have like the strength to run again. He's not. There's no way. There's no way. And then four years, no. Especially if he's gonna just be playing golf and eating. There's no way he's gonna be. Yo, remember when Nancy Pelosi called him fat? Um, who's that? 
Is it? Is it what? that? Is she white or like? Yeah, she's white and she oh. looks really like. Ugh, this is weird. Yeah, I think I've heard of her. Cause like, so Trump said that like the malarial pills will help, and then he's and she was like, oh, but your weight wouldn't help it, so you're not. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Oh my god. <laughs> and the fact that she did it, she didn't even do it with no regrets. Like what the fuck? Oh my god. Bro, imagine we get Donald Trump on this podcast. Uh, I don't even know what. I would be so like. First of all, I'll be honored. I'll, I'll be honored. I I wouldn't even be disrespectful. <laughs> I don't think. What are you gonna say to him? I'm gonna be like, bro, you're a great man. You have to understand, this guy's rich. This is yes. No, he's actually broke. He's in debt. He's oh, then debt. never mind. I'm gonna be disrespectful. <laughs> but no, I don't even know because like you gotta keep it a buck with him. You gotta be honest. Like, what do you think about black people? See what he says. What, what do you think um, about his family? That's what he sounds like. Bro. He literally told a hate group. Like a uh, a oh, white white the proud boys I think yeah to to stand back and stand by okay. you know like when I need you I'll give you the sing- signal and you know you do what you need to do I was like huh like if Trump doesn't win bro like I was like dang this is going off I I really thought people were gonna die yeah. I really thought there was gonna be like a bunch of riots and shit like we gotta lock the door and shit's gonna be what do you call it? Those those type of lies when it just gets so bad that like I don't know what it's called. When it turns into martial law. Oh, that and what's that movie? Purge. Yeah, that. I thought that's what it's gonna be like. Luckily, that did not happen. Exactly. And people like I feel like people are just doing too much with like, oh, I want the purge to happen so bad. And like, no, I don't want to kill like, nobody. I'm staying under my bed. I'm sorry. Like I don't like why like especially if the purge did happen. Let's say the purge mm-hmm. happens. Why is people's first instinct to kill people? Like, we're all in this together. Like, I would have stole some money. Like, exactly. Like, bro, like, I'm going with you, Dalu. You break into Popeye's. I steal all the chicken <laughs> sandwiches. And we we're going out. to Chick-fil-A. We I'm, going to, I'm, going to, I'm going to Tesla, like, the um the store, and I'm stealing all the cars. Oh, yeah. We're going to tell all the warehouses, stealing everything. That's just so much better than killing people. What's the like, point why, of that? Why, why are you killing? What? Why? 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 Don't she's fired. <laughs> like, oh, um, anyway, like it doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah, bro. Um. Also, what else happened in twenty twenty? The okay, okay. Do you know the list? I have like happened. Cause mm-hmm. I know the murder hornets were there, but like the murder wasn't hornets. There. Let me just. The murder hornets didn't exist. Like they're real, but they they're not from here. We're <laughs> not. Even if they, look. The murder hornet they recovered in the United States was already dead. Oh yeah. You know? That means that means that murder hornet and it's not even a murder hornet, it's like a regular hornet that could kill you. Don't call them murder hornets because that's gonna hurt their feelings. But anyways, <laughs> that murder hornet was recovered, like and it was dead, and that means it was it either like first of all I can't fly all the way over here. That's what it's, I was thinking. Like how was that even there's possible? no places to stop. It's there's all water. So it he would get tired he or she would get tired and like die um, automatically so that means it was on a ship or like a plane or whatever or somebody probably brought it in through the air oh yeah the plane yeah and it, it just died in route in transit so yeah. people were just ODing talking about like every bee they saw oh my god murder hornet like we were just scaring other people with this false information oh what about the seeds remember that what seeds where have you been? Okay, so like there was packages being delivered to people and there were like seeds in there from China and people didn't even know what they were. Some people were planting it, some people were throwing it away. But they're like, don't throw it away, don't plant it, like just call the police and then they'll take it off your uh, hands. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah, yeah what, were they, what was that even about? I don't, I don't know what the Chinese people were trying to do, but you know what? I don't want to speak it on, on this shit because I'm not trying to get killed. What? Bro, what it? Bro, because I don't, I don't mess with China. I don't mess with Russia. I'm gonna just keep my mouth shut and mind my own business. Because you know they be doing some sneaky ass shit. I don't know. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speak yeah. on it. I'm not gonna speak See, on you're that. scared too. I'm not scared. I'm, yeah. just, I'm just not gonna speak on it mm. because that is none of my business. It's none of my business. None of my concern. None of my concern. Yep. Well anyways, yeah, the freaking murder horns didn't exist. People were just OG. What else happened? The uh, um protest i think we already talked about yeah that. the protest everyone knows i mean it's like what haven't we been doing already like we've been protesting it's still happening 
you know is this and people were making it a trend i feel like this is like the only year where like they actually made it well people were making it a trend before you know using it for a cloud or whatever but this is like the year where it's like it really like people were actually just doing it for attention and doing it to like oh yeah um blm you know me i support black lives you know they're super nice and kind and they secretly be saying that you know exactly. it's just those type of people like, and if you accidentally, like, I don't care if you accidentally say the N word and you're from, like, you speak English and you accidentally say it, there's no accident. That means you say it, but you slipped up this one time and, and you brought up black people. Like, if if someone were, like, if someone that wasn't black said the N word in front of me, I just would be embarrassed for them. I'm not gonna fight them. I'm not gonna, like, you know, argue with them. You know, it's just like, just know your place. I'm not messing with you no more. Because, like, that happened that's just me. That's just embarrassing. Like, you thought you were cool? Like how No, I... but I think the person actually did it by accident. Who's that person? I'm not going to say that person's name. Mm, but, I mean... But, this... like, the, the stare that I gave that person, it shook. I saw their eyes. They never said that word again. Yeah, it's just... It's just especially because it's so normalized now in, like, public schools... Or like is anywhere with people yeah, it'd be like the non like it to be honest it'd just be the latinos and the hispanics that actually be saying it majority yeah because they think like because hey, oh i'm from new york so i gotta say it oh no. you know we're like this is my cousin you feel me like i'm not white I so have, i can say it. i have the black car i have the n-word pass sorry that's the word N-word pass. that shit don't even exist exactly i didn't where's mine i didn't i didn't receive one at skin color i didn't know where you're from <laughs> that's that's from german, german. I'm from German. Ger- German. You're from German. I'm okay. German. <laughs> um, but no, I, it's so normalized now. Like everyone's just saying it, and it's just like, why? Like, it's like, bro, like I can be in the car with my parents, and a song I can be singing a song with them, and that's where it com- comes up, and I can instantly like just pass over. I don't have to know the song, you know, and I can easily pass over. I don't know why the N word is such like. A big deal. I don't know why everyone wants to say it. I don't know why it's like it doesn't oh make you cool. I say it N word, yeah, bro. Like I don't know. Like it doesn't make any sense. It's, it d- d- doesn't d- differentiate from any other, you know, curse word. Like yeah, the history there, but like even with the history, I don't know why people still want to say it. Mm. You know, like the F word doesn't have like a bad history. The but, F word. Yeah. Which F word are you talking the about? The regular one. Oh, but there's another F yeah, word. The, yeah, that, we're not and talking about And then the R word. Yeah, yeah. And then, there's like, to be honest, and like, when people say the N word, I think about it and be like, but your people, like, it'll be, the, when I'm talking about like the Hispanics and the Latinos, like, they have that one word that they, like, that's rude. What? I'm not gonna say, what is wrong with you? Just whisper in my... What? <laughs> I did not hear what you mean. No, but like, they have that one word that is like the N word, but like for them. I say? No! I'm sorry. I don't know. And I just feel like it, it goes like across all boards for the white people. Yeah. I don't know if you have one. Oh, actually? I mean, the, the like the Jews. Yeah, okay. The Jews, like those people that actually had like, op- that were actually oppressed, then yes. Not the Germans. Yeah, but um, the there's a lot. I saw on TikTok a lot of people are coming at white people, like just making a bl- bunch of lists of names for them, and it's just like wow, these people actually put time into this. But like, <laughs> I'll never. To be honest, it. it was kind of funny though. Some of the words that they put. Yeah, we're not gonna m- mention them, <laughs> but it was um, it was. I'll never just like I wouldn't like. Let's say I wasn't I wasn't black, right? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say the N word. I don't feel. I don't think it's that hard not to say it. I don't think I'll be eager to say it. I don't think I'll say it by myself in my room by myself, you know, privately. I don't think I would be that type of person. And even if there's other words that are, you know, like degrading to other races, I still wouldn't say them. I still wouldn't research. Like I would research the like the impact of like that word and the the background. And I still wouldn't say it because like I'm just not like that. I don't. I'm not cut like that. I like it doesn't make any sense. But other people can do it. You know, I don't mind, you know, it's just very disrespectful and it's embarrassing on your behalf. You know, especially if you say that you get caught on tape or, like, people just call you out on it. You know, you're getting kicked out of your dream school. You have no future anymore. Oh, that kid. I'm glad he saved that video. 
there's like a but there's so many people that literally lost their whole career over no. one word that like you didn't have to say it but you did it's like not even part of your original dictionary so like oh not dictionary vocabulary same shit but like exactly. still and it's like you did you said what like one simple word like not simple but like one word changed your entire life forever it changed oh. ours forever you know negatively and like just because you want to say it now you can't go to college no more well, I can't move out of your parents' house. Now no one wants to hire you. See, this now is, no one wants to be your friend. This is why I like the way things go. Like with the videos and stuff and like how we're getting people saying these type of bullshits like caught. And then they're not like getting the disciplinary disciplinary shit that they deserve. Yeah. Because... There's so many people got caught up in 2020. So many. I mean, if you're a celebrity, you know, there's not, you're not gonna... Like, nothing bad's gonna happen to you. But if you're, like, a child, you're, like, a teen, anything, you know, it's raps. Like, but the only thing that I hope is, like, they don't, like, try to do this, like, on a 12-year-old person. Like, no, like one a of those, lot of like, little boys. Like, because, because I they're just like, so young and, like, uncultured and they don't know a lot of stuff because they just live in their parents' house and they haven't explored enough stuff enough. Exactly. So it just makes them, they, like, they think the same way as their parents. So that's why, like, it wouldn't make sense. But if it's, like, somebody who's, like, maybe 17, 18, yes, yeah. they deserve it. Especially, like, if, especially, like, there's a lot of young uh, little boys, like, you know, 12, like, it was, like, 9 to, like, mm. let's say 13 years old. You know, they play video games with, like, public voice chats, and, like, they hear it all the time. They may not know what it is, but they know it's disrespectful because of the tone they're using it. But they, they may not know, like, the background on it or, like, what people are saying. However, they do know that it's disrespectful, and when they want to disrespect someone, they want to say that word. But I'm not going to call them out on it. I'm going to say, just don't use that. Don't say that. It's if their parents are not going to stop it, you know, I will. I will tell them, like, don't do that. That's very disrespectful, and not the way you think. You know, it's like, it's like, hey, like, it's calling some like, they think it's like calling someone stupid, or like, hey, you're ugly, like, those type of just, but like, they don't know, like, the history on that. So it's like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to cancel them, and like, destroy their whole career, their whole future. Yeah. It's over. better like you just teach them. Because, you know, like, they don't know. They actually exactly. just don't know. Exactly. But like there's people that just just do it. There's like older people that are just doing it out of racism. You know? And that's just I don't know what they gain from it. But you mean shit from that. You're just you're just a bully. Exactly. And, you're annoying. and also like there's like a trend like it was in twenty twenty everyone was like, oh but if a white person were to do this or like you can't outdo the doer, you know all that, you know. But I like that trend. What? Well, like upon like when they did the bar the box break and stuff, cause. Well, you can't outdo the doer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, like that one. Yeah, it made yeah. sense. And like, but like also we also have to bring up. I mean, this is for another conversation. Well, we can but, just brief about it. Yeah, in twenty twenty, is this a lot of black women have been, you know, degraded. You know, and it's not good at all. It's just, I don't know why people are so colors, especially like the black males are colors. I don't understand why. But, you know why. You know why. like, your mom's black, dad's black. You know, if your dad had that same, you know, like, colorist attitude, you wouldn't be here today mm -hmm. to say all this negative stuff. So, why are you saying She it? got that from a TikTok, by the way. Because I, I heard that exact same word you said. I think I seen She's it, but I didn't, I didn't like it. I didn't She's like it. I didn't like, it. I didn't like it. I just saw the comments, but I didn't like it. Yeah, but yeah, what she's saying is valid, but she's exactly. still like. Yeah, but the same thing. No, there's like another thing I was going to say. But also, there's a lot. There's like, it's like a very few. I'm not going to say it's all the black girls, but it's like a very few that just go out of their way to, like, you know be very disrespectful and like mean to like girls that would be like oh like have confidence like so like there was like this one girl um you know like that trend um um the first, it was like for black people they were like I just shot my shot at this little you don't know that one? No. You are not on TikTok bro stop talking to me. <laughs> um it, like this so this white girl stitched it was like oh my god I love this trend so much but can like there be like a white version? Right? And a black girl duetted it and it was like, you know what? Like she was giving her like very like a lot of attitude. Oh like, unnecessary. Yeah, like and it was just like, bro, like what's the problem? Like I was gonna comment, you know, there's already a white version, just use it. But it's like it's just very it's so unnecessary that you had to like duet duet out of your way to duet the video. 
just to like be mad disrespectful. Yeah. But I feel like it's fine if there were as an, was another white version. There is like and there is and that's just fine. It's not like it's like I mean someone titled it this is for the colonizers. But I mean, that was so unnecessary. <laughs> but um That's it, funny though. That was it was a one for the white people. And um I said, I don't know why people are mad. There's a lot of black women that were mad. And I feel like I don't know. It's, a, it's just a very few. I'm not gonna speak for the entire black women. Cause like, yeah, it's I not know. all of them. Yeah, it's not all of them. Like, cause you know, black women are one of the most hated people in this whole society. And it know? just got worse with 2020. Cause like, people are just everyone's like online. Everyone. So like, they're just saying they're just doing the most, saying whatever they want because they know that like no one's gonna do nothing about it. They're not gonna go to your house because we're in a freaking pandemic. No, nah, but they were serious. They would come to your house. <laughs> exactly. And even about building on the fact that we're online, school mm-hmm. has been very, very slow. We it's school been. Monday, no, we don't. Oh, Tuesday. But still, but, I don't want to go to school. But it's just been very like, you. It's been very like, robotic. Very. It's just the same routine every day. But we like I wake up like we have we start class at nine, wake up around eight forty five, brush my teeth, get ready, open my computer, wait until it's nine o'clock, um turn on my meeting, you know I'm there for like a couple hours, you know there's breaks, you know lunch and office hours, but it's like you're just staring at a screen for like a long time. You know, School's not school anymore. You, and then you turn off your computer, you roll over in your bed. Go on your phone, maybe watch a movie, you know, and then maybe a couple hours later, then you get up and do whatever you need to do. And you do the same thing over and over and over. That's why time's going so fast because it's like it's the same it's routine. Repetitive. It's just you doing the same thing. So it's like we, you know, we're on Zoom. We're not listen like we're listening, but I'm like it's it's like we're not really we're not getting anything. We're just hearing you. You know, it's just, I'm, I can hear what you're saying, but like, it's not clicking. It's not the same. Cause like they have to go so fast because we have, like, our classes minutes. are like 45 minutes compared to when we're in school where it's like an hour and 30. And you know, we only have class for like two weeks, two two times a week. And and it's just it's very fast. And like it's not their fault. It's it's yeah. I'm not I don't, I don't blame, blame the teachers. teachers. It's not, it's not their. It's not their fault. It's not even their fault. We're in a pandemic that we have to go online. But it's like it's super fast, and it's, it's like for some people it's hard to keep up. It's hard to do all this stuff, and you know, eleven fifty nine. That's like the deadline for like everything. Everyone's trying to like do all this stuff before that time, and then hopefully they get it done on time. And it's the same thing over and over. It's very. Um. It's like not motivating at all. It's like. What's the point? Yeah. And I also feel like sometimes we just always talk about like the students' view of all the things, but we also have to think of like the teachers who's like they're trying their hardest exactly. to make everything interesting and like students don't even want to try and put in the same energy into exactly. it. So it's like not even gonna work out and then just school just becomes so boring, loop pays attention, like same thing, like I'm gonna just be honest, I don't think if if this teacher's watching this, I am so sorry. But I'm gonna be honest in chemistry I've never paid attention once in that class. I did. I kind of. I, I I like science, but like, it's hard to like grasp onto the information because it's like it's going so fast and, mm. and it just I don't know. Like especially like isn't every class too? Everything is just like you learn one thing one day, and then whole whole other thing the next day. Test, quiz, whatever. Yeah. And the new unit, like I don't even know. Like at this point, it's just so fast, and like for some people that can't learn like like that, it's. I feel bad because yeah. you know they're not getting that extra they they can't like it's physically it's hard for them to get like that extra time because we're on a limp like we're on a time limit here like we're on a schedule we have to do this by this time we have to make sure the grades are in that by this time we have to make sure you know everyone gets all the things they need for like a future test or like the AP exam, oh, the AP exam. And it's, I don't know why we're still taking like it's so like unfair that like we have to take it and we only had like our classes are like not the same you know and it's like i understand like I don't, I don't care if we take a test you know but if it's like the same way how it was like years before 
like without the pandemic it's it's totally unfair no, i think you guys might go back into school to take that test yeah we are but it's like i'm saying if it's like the same like it's the same length it's the mm. same way it's graded it's the same questions and stuff and it's gonna be the same like it's they it's it's, it's, it's gonna be so unfair because previously like we had the classes like every day hour 30 minutes and then we had we could stay um in office hours you know for like an extra hour or something exactly like minutes. and and get all this extra help but now it's like you know 45 minutes two classes and then asynchronous work just watching videos and stuff and it's like you know we're not really learning anything you're just trying to make sure everything's done at a certain time you gotta make sure you're there you're they t- took your attendance so like you show up that you gotta make sure your camera's on even like I don't know why teachers can't see this like even when your camera's on it's like a lot of people are like still sleeping they're in bed people are still like and they're not just like distracted in their house because like some people like they don't have like the best house like housing situations and so like their parents may be fighting in the back exactly and so like it's loud. so distracting and then it's just not good for the child and then ugh. That's why, like, that's why in person was so much better. Exactly, because it's like you, you could leave your house. And it's like no, like loud noises. People just calling you. It's not just always like, oh, come, like, hey, hey, like people yelling in the back, hey, come, come wash these dishes, <laughs> or like, hey, what are you doing? Any of that. Yeah, and like having your mom walk in to like when your camera's on and exactly. then you're unmuted, and then she walks in and starts yelling. Oh my gosh. And like even if you have dogs too, like and they're just barking back and you can barely even hear. It's it's bad. Like I I feel I don't know what I don't know. It's like it's not the teacher's fault, like I said again. I don't know how we're gonna do to improve it. And I don't think we can do anything. Like I just feel like what can we do? I feel like the students in general should actually put more work in because the teachers are putting a lot of work in and we're not showing any energy at all. Like, you know we never had school spirit. Like you seen it. It's yeah. just horrible. Even in pep rallies in real life. It was horrible. It was just, it was too, like, it was so, like, babyish. Like, it was just, like, so, like, hey, guys, we're playing dodgeball. Hey, guys, you want to do this? Like, but it doesn't make sense because, like, you know, when we were in middle school and then we saw their pep rallies, it looked hella fun. And then now when we're in high school, it's just like, mm. yeah, I, I don't want to say this, but I think they don't like us. And... Oh, yeah, everybody hates her, right? But it's all right. I don't know why. It's not you don't fault. know why. I was not her fault. I don't think You so. don't know why. Why? Look at what we did in sixth grade. I don't even want to get we into it. We didn't even get her, leave our... Literally, sixth grade was basically... <laughs> it was prison. It was literally prison. Exactly. So yeah, what else happened in 2020? Um, yeah. We still lost a lot of people. Yeah. Um, you know, COVID skyrocketing. I think we already went through our second week. Huh? 2019? Huh? Juice World? Yeah, not in 2019. Oh, damn. Was it 2019? Yeah, so it was like the end. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah. That was a great way to start the new year. What? I was busy. No, like what? Oh. With his death. And then now have Kobe's death. Exactly. That was bad. That was like... That was like so like... That like, it's like... But everyone dies, we know that, but it's like Kobe, like it just died so he just early, died and his daughter and like everyone else on the plane. Like I feel I on know the like, when, like the day we came back after like he died and stuff and like everybody was sad and stuff, but I'm like, you guys are sad for the wrong person. Like, yes, Kobe, yes, he's a legend. But he had like a whole life to live, but is it Gianna? Yeah. Yeah. Gigi. Gigi. She was only she was our age. She was like, no, no, she wasn't. She was a year younger than me. Yeah, but, she was but, fourteen. She was, yeah, no, she, no, she was, she was fifteen. No, oh, well, she's she, younger than me. I know she was younger than me. Oh, she, she was like thirteen turned. or fourteen, and she was hella young. And then also her friends that were also on there, they were like, the same helicopter. age. And it's just so sad. Like she didn't even get to live her life. She didn't even get to go to the WNBA. Like, bro. And, like we were waiting. We was kind of watch on draft day, watch her get drafted, and yeah. it's like. Yeah, Mongo is the Mongo mentality, mentality, but it's like, you gotta understand there's other people too. That's why I would hate to die with a celebrity, because I'm not gonna be in the headline. You know, if we get into a car crash, let's say I get into <laughs> Is a that car- what you're worried? No, if I get into a car crash with Kim Kardashian, everyone's well, like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> like, Kim Kardashian in a car accident, Kim Kardashian dead, Kim Kardashian this. 
Like, I'm just going to be on, like, the little footnote. (laughs) Like, no, I would hate that. And that's how everyone's treating it. And I feel like, and it's so, like, hypocritical because, like, then we learn about, you know, women's rights and, like, rights of, like, young people and young people have a voice. But then we just focus on that. We always focus on the wrong people. We focus on the people that we think is, like, important. Yeah, like, yeah, he, well, he... was important he was he made like a very big impact in he his. did but like and and i think it just also ties in with like the sociology factor of like she's she's a woman and she's also black at the same time and she's not gonna also get like enough news coverage as spar if it was like her parents and stuff if you get what i mean yeah it, just, it always has to tie in with some race gender bullshit something like that Like, I just... Yeah, now we're sad. Don't end the podcast this way. We can't. <laughs> we can't. Right, let's like, light up the mood. Um, <laughs> what are you going to talk about? I don't even know. Like, you can't... There's nothing good that happened in 2020. <laughs> That's what I'm telling there's you. Nothing, there's nothing we can do to light up the mood. Um, um, I think the only time... I think the only thing that we can light it up is that this is 2021, a new year. Yeah, but like, make sure you watch that 2020 documentary on Netflix. That was very funny. Oh, okay. You want to get the full coverage of... What happened in 2020? All like the bad things. All jokes though. Yeah, it, well, it's jokes, but all that stuff happened. happened. All the stuff happened though. Yeah. yeah. But that's crazy. Like, y'all. Yeah. Just be, just be better. Be positive. Don't think like, oh, 2021 is gonna be, um, like this magical year it's not gonna happen don't think no first of all don't even think that covid's gonna be gone everything's gonna be better once 2021 mm-hmm. happens like no that's not no that's but not first of all still be positive still be optimistic still think about like the good that just make sure like if you are you know religious pray if if you're not meditate if you are, if you're not just like you know think of the positive be a realist be you know? realist if you're a realist you're just gonna you're just gonna be sad half the time <laughs> like i'm sorry you know what else i was thinking about like um i was thinking i don't oh there's a couple things i just want to say that it's, it kind of t- doesn't really tie with 2020 but i this was really pissing me off and i think i, I just want you guys to know dog okay i just i hate when people on tiktok comment like i can't believe i made it on this side of tiktok like, and it's this, like, I don't, like, oh, it just pisses me off so much. Like, if you're on food TikTok, that makes sense because it's a general. But there's, like, let's say a viral goes, like, um, video goes viral, right? Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, my God, I can't believe I made it on um, cutting your car in half with a, uh, what's that thing called? <laughs> like, I can't, I can't believe I made it on um, crushing your car with a boulder TikTok. Like, oh, I hate when people say that, like, or I, can't I don't I even know on. what TikToks you're watching at this no, point. No, it's, the, it's the comment section. It's the comment section. They're like, oh my god, I can't believe I made it on cement the sidewalk TikTok. Oh my god, I can't believe I made it on oh, building TikTok. your baby crib TikTok. It's so annoying. Like, But then when you scroll, it's going to be something completely the opposite. Like, it doesn't make sense. What was the point of commenting that? Because you're not going to see that again. Like, how did I make it on this side of TikTok? Because you're commenting. You're just going to... And you're keep... liking. Like, exactly. all those actions. That's how you get it. So dumb. Please, stop. What's the other point? And also, um, well, I was going to say, it's not really that, like, you know, uplifts and, like, that one. But it's, like, also, like, I don't even know if we should say that for, like, another... No, just say it briefly and then we can... Okay, but, like, um, just don't, just don't be, like, so scared of everything. Especially, like, with death, like... Don't, don't be scared, like, everything's meant to happen for a reason, like, don't, like, there's some people that go out, like, let's say you're swimming, right, like, there's some people that will wear, like, mad floaties, sunscreen, because they think they're gonna get, like, attacked by a shark or, like, gonna drown, mm-hmm. but, like, I feel like people that are like that, that are scared of everything and, like, take precautions on, like, specific things, like, you can, like, anything can happen, like, I can be, like, I can walk out every day and I can, let's say, name one thing that could happen, like, oh, get hit by a car, right? I can walk oh, out. fall into a su- sewer. Sewer. <laughs> um, right? I no, can... you say sewer. Sewer. Sewer? 
Who says that? Where are you from? I don't know. You know, like how I went to Nigeria, like some of my vocabulary is a little off. That's my fault. Oh, let's call it sewer. Sewer. Sorry. Yeah. Call it to sewer. Like, let's say, like, you Practical wear a lot of bright coming. lights when you go out because you won't get hit by a car. Mm -hmm. Right? But then you can come, come into your house and slip, break your neck. You know? So don't, just don't be scared. Like, don't think, live, it's live for your life now. Mm -hmm. Don't live for the afterlife. Don't live, don't live in like, live your way a certain way just because what's going to happen after this. But it doesn't mean going like skydiving without yeah. like, the parachute. Don't, don't be crazy. Don't be crazy. <laughs> you know, be, be a sane person. But like, live for yourself now. Like the life you have now, live for yourself. I don't like, disregard everything you believe in right now. Like just live for yourself. Like 2020, it was a, it was a crazy year. Now live for yourself now. Yeah. Live like, Oh, maybe 2022 is not gonna happen. So live for yourself now. Go out with a mask. Social distance. So like, not only you are gonna be safe, but you're helping everybody else. Like, we can get through this faster. You know? So, YOLO. Do it all. Anything you wanna do, do it now. Stop waiting. Stop procrastinating. Do it now. You, do it now. What am I supposed to do? Exactly, you don't even know what you want. <laughs> do it now. You want to go to your dream college, apply now. Actually, no, don't apply now. But if you, I mean, it depends if you're like a senior, apply. But like I'm saying, like, study it now. Like, do everything you need to do yeah, so you can make it in with college. for ACTs. Exactly. Do everything. Do it now. Stop waiting. By the way, we actually have to get started like that. Hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, but we have to. We're in 10th grade. Yeah, but I understand how. We have to take it in 11th. I don't understand how test and all this stuff determine your future. I feel like your personality I think they're just trying to see are. how successful you'd be in that college. Exactly. But, but some, I don't think that determines some, but, it. But, but some of them are removing the um the test thing permanently, so we're fine. No, we're not fine. Like, that's so for Because like, I know 2021 and, well, 2020, they were exempt from it, luckily. But we have to take it. And some, some, tw some schools for 2022, they also exempt you taking the test. But it's not fair how 2023 is not included. No, it's not even that. Like, it's not fair that we have to do it in general. It doesn't make any sense. They just took, they just, but to be honest, like you can go to, like you can apply to Harvard with a 4.0, get a perfect score on your SATs or ACTs, and they still wouldn't put you in. They'll reject your ass because right. you're not interested. You just do the basic shit like, oh, I'm, I'm the president. I'm, I'm student council. You know, I volunteer. Yeah. I pick leaves. And, and like, to oh. be honest, and I love how Harvard is like trying to be like more better than any other school because like they're act they would take in a person that has a two point five average yeah. that has a lot of potential. They're worried about potential, not the scores. So like, don't put too much pressure on that. By the way, good. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good at giving advice. Yeah, just, I guess. Yeah, live your life, like what she said. But, like, don't, don't, just because Harvard would accept you at a two point, reach higher. Aim yeah. higher. Aim higher, though. Don't settle, settle yourself for, like, for that. But, like, make sure you're, like, don't, well, do, you don't have to do everything other people are doing, but, and don't you know, over stress yourself. yourself. Like, and don't think you have to do all these stuff to, you know, be successful. Don't do, like, because I know some people who take, like, six AP classes. And then fail half of them. Exactly. Just because you want it, like, you just, you're just over, trying to overachieve and, like, not really knowing who you are. And then, it's crazy. And you just, you, there's just a waste of time. Yeah. You know? But, yeah, just live your life to the fullest. Do whatever you need to do. If, just, you know. Breathe, do yoga, pray if you want to. Depends on you as a person. What do you mean it depends on you as a person? It depends on what you believe in. Yeah, depends on you. Like, I know some people who are Christian that don't pray. Mm. I actually don't know, but I know there's some of them. Mm. Okay. But anyways, guys, live your life. 2021 is going to be your year. Don't say that. It's going to be your year. 2021 is just a time to learn more. Just everyone more. just... Stand back, stay, stand by. Bro, you know that Grey's Anatomy, I'm sorry, you know that Grey's Anatomy scene, they're like, love me, be with me, you know, with Meredith and Darren. I don't watch Grey's Oh my gosh, what is wrong? Okay, we need to sign off. How do you time. watch Criminal Minds and Grey's Anatomy at the same time? I didn't watch it at the same time, I finished that a long time ago, but I'm gonna rewatch it. What, Grey's? Yeah. 
I haven't finished Criminal Minds. But you should watch SVU. I don't even know why you don't watch it. That's so weird. You watch what? Law, Law and Order? Yeah. Because um, I want to be a lawyer? Because of that? That's, what, that's why? No, no, because you like Criminal Minds. That's what I'm I know, but like, I don't know. I want it, but it's like so long and like, it doesn't really entice me to watch. But Criminal Minds is better? Yes. You, bro, she's the same person that said that she was scared at night. No, like it was, no. I was thinking. I, I'm not scared of anything. Mm, okay. I'm not. I'm, I need, okay. But drowning. Probably not, that's the only thing I'm scared of. But it's like I'm not really scared of. You no, know, that happening to me is just I would think about it a lot. But I just feel like SVU is just more like realistic, because it's like. No, I feel like Criminal Minds like that. I feel like the reason but it's, like, it's not like as common though as. SVU. I know, but like the thing is like. The thing about why well, I don't know why we're talking about. We need to close out. Oh, like this, sorry. this is for another conversation. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But like this stuff actually happens, and people just like just because it's so crazy, they act like this is never gonna. Happen. Oh, it happens with that. I'm gonna, it happens more times than you. That actually pig think. one, the pig episode. Which one was even? Oh, I don't remember. You're too far behind. Anyways, oh, guys, I'm gonna go on season eight. Mm. I, I stopped think, for two months. I think I'm on like the last episode. But the thing is, I watch movies. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a movie person. Yeah, I like the classic. Movie. Don't ever say Wait, that. Wait, did you watch The Soul? The, the Soul? Yeah. I did. Did you? I did. Well, did you like it? No, because, like, again. Oh, it was in a, in, like, an animated version of the whole Yes, thing. because I actually just saw a TikTok recently. Yes, but I was like, no. I feel like people drag it, though. But it's not it's, drag it. Like, but it's name, like, I want you to name one black animated character that stayed the same character the entire movie. Name one right now. Um, for, like, Disney movies? Um, I don't know, I don't... There I've you go. Seen any. That's how you know. They don't do... Like, to be honest, half of these, like, princesses or all these, like, movies, like, they get to say the same if they're white. What do you mean? But the thing is, like, the, you have to understand, like, the white Disney... They always die. Who? White, like, they're literally so close to them. Um, Snow White. She bit that apple. She got poisoned, and if she didn't, she give trusted it, seven people. She didn't even know. Right? Like, no, those seven doors, like they're that would be my favorite is Bashful. Um, the the young one. No, that's that's I don't know. That's I, forgot, I hated Snow movie. White, so I never watched it. Oh, um, Snow White was like Sleeping Beauty. Oh yeah. Um, who else? Um, Fiona. 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 From, from Shrek. She got locked up Shrek. She's, <laughs> a, she's, a, she's a princess too. Oh, but um, okay. who else almost died? Um, that girl from Wreck It Ralph. Um, Vanelli V von Schmauf or some shit like that. Sweep. Yeah, she almost died. From no. what? Cause, cause she couldn't leave the game and like all the bugs were about to eat her. Oh yeah, oh the first movie. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs> um, if you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um. Like I said, again, our Spotify will be in the link in the description if you want to listen to our podcast over there. Follow our Instagram and TikTok at Black Nificent Podcast. And all our socials, if you want them, will be in the link in the description. All our personals. Hit us up over there. If you want to be a guest, DM us on... DM us? I said DM us! Bro, on... I heard damn. Oh my. DM us on Instagram, Instagram or just go to our personal socials and we'll... Let's talk. And DM me I don't know you. Okay, DM us on Black Nificent, like our Instagram. Or Genesis. Yeah, or me. And talk to you guys. Next podcast coming out soon. Two weeks. Love you guys. What'd you say? (laughs) Go!